What's going on YouTube? Welcome to a quick tutorial video on how to download mods for Schedule 1. This game is absolutely blown up, and if you're like me, bro, you want to mod your game. So let's just jump right into it and show you guys how to mod your game. As long as you guys follow these quick, easy steps, bro, you'll be able to mod your game and it should work 100%. Real quick, if I'm able to help you guys in any way, make sure you guys like the video and let me know down in the comments. That means, say, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so the first thing you guys are going to need to download is going to be Melon Loader. Uh, link is going to be in the description down below. Once you load up the Melon Loader website, you're going to scroll down, and it does have some requirements that you're going to have to make sure you do have installed before you guys install any mods or, or melon loader make sure you guys do your own research to make sure they're safe um i trust it i've downloaded it, it works for me but just make sure you guys as always if you download downloading mods do your own research um i have all this downloaded obviously so all i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go over here download latest for windows i'm just gonna click on it and it's gonna go ahead and download i'm just gonna save it so now you're gonna look at your downloads folder I already have it but you're gonna go ahead and just double click it now it's gonna bring up this melon loader installer your game should be here schedule one um if it's not you're gonna have to add game manually and i'm gonna quickly show you guys how to find your game folder if you're not aware you go to this pc windows you're gonna go to program files x86 you're gonna scroll down and look for steam you're gonna go to steam apps you're gonna go to common this is where your game folder is gonna be you're just gonna look for schedule one right here and this is where you would add your game all right so now that we're here we just click schedule one do not turn on nightly builds unless you know what you're doing make sure you uh keep mods and settings if you're gonna i'm updating so i'm gonna go ahead and keep mods and settings it shouldn't say this if you're first installing it uh you're just gonna hit install mine says reinstall of course i'm gonna do that as well so you guys see all right success mail loader installed all right so now that mail loader is installed what it went ahead and did is it added a mods folder to your actual game directory so now we need to go back to our game directory another way you can do that is if you right click schedule one and and go to buy local files it takes you straight to it um as you see i have a mods folder i already have some mods downloaded don't worry about those we're going to download some new ones for this video so that takes you straight to your mods folder put this set aside we're going to need this later on all right so now we're going to go to our lovely website nexus mods so the first mod i'm going to download is cdxx it is pretty much essentially i think a cheat menu for your phone so we're going to just download it check it out uh, i'm going to go to files you're going to download manual download it says you need melon loader you're gonna need melon loader for most of the mods on here i'm pretty sure another thing i'm gonna get is enhanced casino both of these links are gonna be in the description if you guys want to check them out i'm gonna go ahead and download this one as well all right so now that we have both mods downloaded you're just gonna go to your downloads folder you're gonna right click extract and i have winwar you're just gonna extract both files all right so now that we've extracted both files we're gonna go into them we're gonna go back to our mods folder and we're gonna go into these files and we're just gonna drag the dll files into your mods folder right so i'm gonna go back to downloads go to this one see dxx drag the dll file into the mods folder and that's all you have to do for downloading the mods let's go ahead and jump into the game and make sure that these work so when you launch your game you're going to get this melon loader launcher uh, it's loading all the mods basically going to show you if there's any errors any problems as you guys see five mods loaded so that means that the, all the mods have loaded perfectly fine there's no issues fantastic all right so we are in the game let's go ahead and just load up 80s drug empire because why not all right so as, right as we load into the game don't worry about the mess <laughs> uh we're gonna, we see a notification cdxx look at this all right so we're gonna click on this and it gives us basically a cheat menu player management me let's say i want to give us cash or xp let's set jump power 100 because why not enter and just like that i oh <laughs> uh 100 might have been too much oh god all right now that we're no longer in the sky let's go ahead and gamble we can gamble up to 25k so let me just go ahead and just give me player management most give cash and we're going to type in 25k because it's the max that we can gamble right according to the the mod they're not working here so can i let's go ahead and play ride the bus for 25k because why not it also gives you that free play black hey can i win a whole bunch of money it's gonna go lower Oh, I can withdraw 75k. Inside or outside? It's got to be outside. Oh, 100k, baby. And we withdraw because I always miss this one. We don't go it all the way. I would have missed it. See? All right, so now that I showed you guys how to download mods, I want to quickly show you guys how to download reshade. There's a comics reshade that looks really cool, in my opinion. If you guys look at it, it actually looks really cool. I don't know what's going to look in game, but from the pictures, it looks like I might enjoy it. So I'm going to show you guys also how to download reshade while we're here. We might as well. So first things first, you're going to go to the reshade.me download page. You're just going to download the newest version, download, set up, save. After that, you're going to go ahead and find your reshade that you want to download. For me, it was the comics reshade. I'm going to go ahead and just download this normally, like you would any mod. All right, so now we're going to go to our downloads page you're going to extract the reshade file that you downloaded it's extracted like normally and then you're going to run your reshade setup so it's going to go through here you're going to have to find schedule one you could probably just search it yeah schedule one here we go you're going to go ahead and hit next boom you're then going to select this right here direct x 10 11 12 
And then from here, you can add your own files and stuff. But how to do it the correct way is you hit browse. And you're going to click on the fo folder that you downloaded for your reshade. So schedule one comics. And you're going to click the INI file. And you're just going to open. And that's going to go ahead and select everything you already need for that file. And then you're just going to hit next. Let it download. Let it do its thing. After it's done downloading, you're just going to hit finish. And then all you have to do is load up the game. Let's go load up the game and then show you that it works. So right away, you guys can see up top, it says reshade is now installed. And you can actually tell by looking at the main menu, the game looks different. So if you hit home key and you just, I'm going to skip the tutorial for the sake of the video. I'm then going to go to settings to toggle the effect. I usually just set it to end key. And then I'm going to go in and look, boom, just like that. The game looks different right here. It doesn't look too good, but let's jump in the game and see exactly what it looks like in game. If you guys download this reshade, it actually tells you right here the exact instructions what to do. Make sure you turn on God rays. Boom. God rays is on. And then what you need to do after this, you go to home key, edit global preprocessor definitions and reshade depth input upside down needs to be one. It naturally is zero. So you need to make sure that it's one. And if we hit end, reshade is oh, what a king. It actually doesn't look too bad. It looks super cartoony. I guess it looks super like pixelated on your guys' screen, huh? Yeah. And, it, it, you know, normal game looks pretty decent. <laughs> but that is how you download Reshade. If you guys find any that you actually want to download, that is the process. It is very easy and very simple. With that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully I helped some of you guys out. If you did, hit that like button down below. Make sure you guys subscribe for more content. And stay tuned for future uploads. You guys have a good day. Stay safe. Peace.